गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ह्यूमन आई ओके एंड देर वॉज सम डाउट रिलेटेड टू द डिलीटेड पोर्शन सो टूडे आई हैव मैंशन इट ऑन द बोर्ड अबाउट द डिलीटेड पोर्शन यू कैन सी यर डिलीटेड पोर्शन इज फंक्शनिंग ऑफ आई इन ह्यूमन फंक्शनिंग ऑफ लेंस इन ह्यूमन आई ओके सो द डिलीटेड पोर्शन यू विल इन दैट यू विल नॉट स्टडी अबाउट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ लेंस देन डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ विजन एंड दर करेक्शन इवन दो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स यू विल स्टडी ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स बट इन एग्जाम यू विल नॉट हैव दिस टॉपिक्स ओके सो डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ विजन एंड दर करेक्शन एंड द थर्ड वन इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्पेरिकल मिररर्स एंड लेंसेस ओके सो दिस टॉपिक्स यू विल नॉट हैव फॉर योर एग्जाम बट यू विल स्टडी इट Okay. Now, uh, in last lecture, you have studied human eye. Okay, this question is very important for the exam because uh, it can come uh, write the uh, structure and function, explain the structure and function of human eye. For that purpose, it is very important. So again, once again, I will revise in short about the human eye and its working. Okay, it is very simple. This is our normal eye. This is the section of our eye. It, uh, how it looks? It looks. how in spherical it is not accurately spherical but it is uh, nearly spherical in shape okay so which is the outer part here the outer part this first layer transparent layer it is called as cornea okay inside the transparent layer what it is there is a muscular part muscular uh, uh, section it uh, there is okay diaphragm muscular diaphragm uh, as i have explained to you if the muscular diaphragm's color varies size of the color also varies the muscular diaphragm here it is and uh, which is called as iris of the eye in this iris you can see a small uh, hole or dark spot it is called as pupil pupil of the eye and behind the pupil what it is lens is present behind the pupil there is a lens and this lens is uh, carried or it is held or it is supported by the ciliary muscles okay the lens is supported by the ciliary muscles the ciliary muscles helps to increase the focal length decrease the focal length of the eye Okay, all this it is managed by the ciliary muscles, and uh, behind you will see this all inside part. In this part, you can see uh, the uh, liquid like uh, fluid like uh, substance. It is uh, there, and it is called as vitreous chamber. And inside this chamber, you can see the blood vessels. This blue and orange are there. They are the blood vessels, and this part it is called as the retina very important part retina acts as the screen okay means when the light enters the eye it falls on the screen as you have studied in light lesson similarly here the light falls inside the lens and it falls on the retina okay and in retina there are light receptor cells okay and what are the light receptor cells you can see here a small section is taken of retina and it is zoomed so in zoom what what it can see it is a pigment small pigment layer is there photoreceptor cells two types of receptor cells are there as i have explained you last time rod cell and cone cell the name is given because of its shape here you can see rod cell you can see this blue color it is like a rod shape so that's why it is called as rod cell and another this orange color you can see that is you can see here it looks like cones so it is called as cone cells okay so this are the rod cell cone cell and this is further connected to the neuron you have studied in biology about the neuron the function of neuron it carries the signals okay so similarly this signals are converted into the electrical signals and it is carried to the uh, it is carried by the nerve fibers here these are the nerve fibers present uh over here and these signals are carried by the optic nerves to the brain okay so these are the things and this outer wh whitish layer you can see it is called as sclera and inside that this all this it is called as choroid okay so this this is about the structure of human eye and about the working what you will write about the working in exam what you will write when the light falls on the eye or when the light falls on the cornea what happens it enters into it it falls on the pupil 
okay and over here what happens when it enters the pupil what happens the ciliary muscles what happens it adjusts the focal length of the light and uh, means what happens here ciliary muscles make the lens to adjust its shape so that the light which falls on the lens will focus it on retina okay means uh, when it focus on retina what happens the focused light on retina it is as you know that receptor cells are present rod cell cone cell okay it will recognize it and then what happened this uh, is further connected to the optic nerve this optic nerve carries the signal forward converts it into electrical signals and it carries forward towards the brain and brain what happens it recognize the object or substance which you have seen okay this is the working means what light falls over here it enters to the pupil here lens adjusts according to the light how light is as i have told you function of pupil what is the function of pupil which is present in inside the uh, iris what happens when there is a large amount of light is falling on your eyes it becomes small okay this pupil becomes small and when in dim light what happens this pupil becomes big so that large amount of light it can take inside and it can see the object clearly this was the function of pupil okay similarly this light falls and here this is the working of human eye this much you have to write in the exam if the question comes okay so this was a uh, recap of last lecture uh, all this working and uh, and more very important function of rod and cell as i have told you last time is that cone cells are uh, what they, they are they are color they are promoting the colored vision cone cells and rod cell they are promoting the uh, black and white vision if you are if you are seeing just black and white things at night you can you cannot see in dark you cannot see any colorful thing okay it at that time uh, when that there is a dim light at night or in darkness your rod cells are active and it makes us to see the objects uh, in darkness okay and cone cells they are active during daytime or whenever there is a light daytime you cannot see at night also if there is a light in room you can see the colored objects okay means whenever there is a light uh, and whenever you are able to see the colorful things that time cone cells are activated okay as i have told you there is a many diseases as night blindness some uh, uh, some people are uh, means uh, blind to some colors okay they cannot see the colors when uh, it is that at time uh, at night time they cannot identify the colors which is red which is green okay it is due to the uh, means it is due to the uh, unactivated cone cells okay cone cells are not activated in some uh, person if there is a, uh, means if there is no red cells so red cone cells means the cone cells which identify the red color if such type of cone cells are not present in the person then what happens the person is blind to red color he cannot see the red color okay as in the board i have written with red color i have written with blue color okay if anyone cannot identify this red color blue color means what the person don't have the red color cone cells or blue color cone cells in his eyes okay so this is the function of rod uh, rod and cone cells okay now today we are going to study about visions okay what is different different these are the different concepts related to our vision or power of our eyesight okay so first we are going to study about power of accommodation what is the meaning of power of accommodation now as i have explained you that light falls on our eye okay it enters from the lens it enters into our eyes that time what happens many thing as i have explained you the ciliary muscles uh, it is a process when the light enters into eyes it is a process when the ciliary muscles adjust the focal length of the lens such that the uh, light which i have entered should be properly focused on the retina 
okay the light of uh, the light of the object means from the object which you are going to see suppose here a candle is there and you are see the candle okay so the light which falls on the candles and which reflects back to our eyes it enters into the eye that time what happens the ciliary muscles focus the light it adjusts the focal length of the eye lens and the clearly uh, the we can see the the clear vision of distinct object or uh, nearby object which is taken to the retina okay which is taken to the retina this process is called the power of accommodation or accommodation of eye okay means it is a process that clearly the object should be uh, seen by the person okay that is called the accommodation of the eye accommodation in accommodation the uh, the rays which are coming inside the eye it should be properly fold on the retina and the vision is clear vision okay it is called the accommodation of eye now see the uh, next you go, we are going to study about the focus of object on retina with varying distance this is also very important part as you know some uh, uh, some people wear specs why they are wearing spectacles because some they have some defect in their vision that's why to make it proper they are using the spectacles so why what are the defects or what are the uh, defective part in that uh, okay that you are going to study here now first we will study about the focus uh, focus means varying distance some people can see the object which is nearby some people cannot see it, the nearby object they can see the object which is far away properly they can see but they cannot see the object which is nearby clearly suppose if you are reading something okay but some people are there who can read clearly by nearby things but they cannot see the far away things okay means this is the some defects in our eyes so here we are going to see that uh, according to the difference in the distance what what things happen that you are going to see in that first one is near point or least distance of vision means what near point vision you are going to study suppose you are taking a book and you are reading it how much distance it should you should keep the book for a normal vision how much distance it should be it should be 25 cm okay you should ca ca uh, pick your book if you have to take your book and while reading you have to keep it 25 cm away from your eyes so that you can see it properly it is the normal range of vision okay uh, normal uh, centimeters you are going to see so nearby point okay and it is called the least distance and it may vary in normal i am i am talking about the normal eye it is 25 cm but it may vary according to the age of the person okay some persons uh, as uh, they will become older so what happens they are not able to see at 25 cm you can see some uh, people are carrying the newspaper very close to their eyes and seeing reading it it is because of some defects because as the age is uh, occurring as they are becoming older what happens their eyesight is also becoming less so they cannot see the near point differs over there for normal vision vision it was 25 cm as they become older it has decreased okay so this is about the uh, near point and one more thing i want to tell you in babies in small babies the normal vision is 5 to 8 cm in, in 5 to 8 cm they can see clearly it is a normal vision as they will become they will grow it becomes their normal vision becomes 25 cm and as they grow older older what happened uh, that uh, near point again comes closer to that eyes second is far point now what is far point it is a range of our eye that how much far object you can see that is called as far point okay so this far point uh, is how much in our human eye for a normal human eye it is at infinity infinity means how much it is very large very large distance we can see a person can see uh, infinity if you are standing in uh, in mountain region or anywhere you can see how much far you can see you can see till the horizon you can see okay means the horizon it is how much it is infinity uh, distance okay so uh, the far point of our eye is infinity a normal vision people can see infinity but if there is some defect in our eye the person cannot see large distance objects 
okay that defects you are going to study uh, in the defect of visions this is just the near point and far point of our eye now as you have studied the near point which is 25 cm far up point you have studied the uh, a, a normal person can see at infinity so what is the range of vision now our next point is the range of vision what is the range of vision in a human eye or in the normal human eye Yes, the uh, range means what? It is the difference or it is the distance between the near point and the far point. It is called as range of vision. Means uh, how much range a eye can see. Means a nearby point and a far point. And the distance between the near point and far point, this distance is the range of vision of our eye. So what will be the range of here? means our eye can see from 25 centimeters to the infinity this range is the range of vision in the normal eye okay so you have studied this this was the small small subtopics which you, you have to study this part is not deleted this you have in exam so you have to do it properly after this you are going to study the topic of a defect of vision you will see means this was the proper normal uh, eyes uh, terms okay now you are going to study the defect of vision what happens when there is a defect in our eyes you can see your defects of vision four types of disease uh, four types of defects are found in our eye that is first one is you are going to study hypermetropia which is also called as long sightedness second is myopia which is called as short sightedness third one is presbyopia and fourth one is astigmatism these are the four defects which can be found in your eyes okay so you will study these defects of vision uh, in details in next video okay uh, these are the four defects actually you don't have this in the exam but what happens so you, uh, for your understanding i will explain you okay thank you